Yo, what is going on guys? Fairbax here, back with another video, and today we are be going to go over how I win. Mo I'm not going to say all, because you know, you will come up against people who are going to be doing the same thing, or are simply just better. But most, most unlimited games with this cheesy strategy now, this strategy is very similar to the one from last year, but before I do show you, please drop a like, please drop a sub, it would be very much appreciated. And uh, yeah, let's just go hop right into it. So pretty much, you want to create a new squad, mine's called Unlimited Cheese, and um, you want to create a lineup very similar to this. So you want to have, make sure your bench is just all bronzes, all bronzes that you don't want to use. Then at point guard, like, I could either run Grant Hill, that would bump my overall up too though. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run Point Guard Joku Noah, cheesiest card in the game. Um, I've put a couple of badges on him, you don't have to do that, but I have. Um, then I have this guy at Shooting Guard, he has a 77 3 pointer, so... Actually I'm going to swap him out for Dakota Mathias, because Dakota Mathias has an 83 pointer. So yeah, he's insane. Then JJ Redick, um, 82 3 pointer, and he has a couple badges including range. Then this guy, Jordan Wara, he has an 83 pointer as well. And then I have D-Rob. Now, you don't have to run D-Rob, you can run... You don't even have to run a center, you can run someone in these uh, these four positions here. Or you can run someone goaded at point guard, then like an amethyst center if you have one. And um, yeah, pretty much you want your overall to be around that 80, 81, maybe 82. No, maybe if I chuck a gold in here, you know, it won't won't bother it too much. Here we see we have chucking Bertans here, so that's not gonna affect it. Um does he come with any badges? Yeah, he does. So that's a guy I'd recommend running. Um and if you wanna run, you know, maybe a gold. Seth Curry, he he's a good shooter, I know. You can run him. And I think I will because um he has a higher three point rating, but this is a team I'd run, and then the bench just make it your lowest overall. So I have any lower overalls than 69? No, I don't. Oh, wait, yes, I do. Um, just low, as low overall as possible. Now, you do want to run your coach the same. You can chuck it bronze, and it will make your team a little bit worse. But I'm just going to leave it Frank Vogel because, you know, my players get that bit of a boost, which, uh, which is chuck I need with these type of players. So, yeah. Um, also, one thing that you don't need, but it definitely helps, is the 13 Heat playbook. If you haven't got that, I would recommend getting it, because it does help out so much. Like, especially against people who don't know what they're doing, you can cheese them so hard. But, uh, yeah, so this is the main thing you need. This year, you're pretty much set. You should come up against bots. Um, not bots, bums, or people who are just starting out with bad squads, and then... Um, I'll go hop into a game and I'll show you what you do from there. Alright, as you can see here, we finally found a game. We did have two rage quits, uh, matched up against this guy four times and he rage quitted every time. So this is the one I'm going to show because this is probably the best one, best example. But, um, so as you load in here, you want to go to defensive settings and you want to put on tight and tight. Defensive settings, you want to put it on Hawks 2018 no matter what. And then if you have the Miami Heat playbook, you want to go quick four horns flare, then quick 32 box flare, which it's going to take me a second to do. Here we go, put it on there now. Um, and then punch five flare rip, yep. And then we want to go to, no, nothing else in offensive. Go to coach settings and turn off adaptive coach engine. And that's all you want to do in your settings. Now, the first, ignore the first two possessions of this game because I was just uh, being, a, being a bit of a bot. But um, I didn't win the jump ball, unfortunately. And um, we did leave him open for three, which uh, is not what we want to do. But um, so he hits a three there. Then we come down and we make want to make sure you put it on Hawks 2018, which I didn't do straight away. I want to do it here, put it on Hawks 2018. And then we actually got a good shot. Like that shot would go in if I timed it right. I forgot to turn off my... Um, my shot aiming on the stick um that was not a wide left three i shot that with the button so that was a that was a white that we made and um that, that's what's going to happen when you have someone like d rob now what you want to do is the main guy that he has you want to double them see how i was doubling uh cook there with d rob and i was just running the break kicking it back out to d rob um and then he just drives past some post rides it's like that's that's all you gotta do get someone like d-rob who can do that oh you want to have two threats so they can't double you like i was doubling him but doubling aaron aflalo 
and then we read the pass, get the steal, run it with D-Rob, we stop here, we pop her, we hit the white, we get a bit lucky there. And this is just how you want to keep playing, just run the ball, take advantage of your good players, especially if they have um, matchups, and we're off-balling on Aaron Aflalo here. And then Daquan, he gets a pretty decent look at a three, to be honest, but um, nothing crazy for an Emerald, and then we get it with D-Rob. Looks like he was going to double us there, so we pull it back out, and this guy is not going to be able to guard us, so we just go right past and get the dunk, and um, you'll see here, he doesn't, I think maybe I make one more shot, and then he rage quits, but um, yeah, it's pretty simple, you just want to play them like this, throws a long pass, we're doubling him, with it, it doesn't even matter that we're doubling with two golds, then he kicks it to D-Rob, and then we read the pass to Daquan Cook, and then we're off to the break, another dunk, showtime, D-Rob, and then this guy quits, so... Yeah, that is pretty much it, guys. It's all you have to do. You will get guys like this like 80% of the time. So it's pretty simple. But uh, yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Please drop a like, please drop a sub, and I'll catch you all later.